Hello. So this video is going to be a little different than the ones I've been doing. Instead of doing a daily vlog, I'm going to take all the videos I've made over a couple weeks, but all the videos I've made pertaining specifically to the atrium doors, and I'm going to make them into this long video that you're watching. Rather than breaking up this video into 10 or 15 different videos, I'd rather just put them all into one and just uh, be able to follow it all the way through to the finish. I'm going to go ahead and jump in basically where the logs left off and I was in the middle of working on uh, the parts for the jam and getting them sealed. This stuff seems pretty shiny though. Whoa. Look oh, yeah, that stuff's strong. I mean, this is supposed to be a satin but it sure is glossy. There's still like little spots you can see that are like dull. Mm -hmm. The more coats I put on, the better it looks. So this is going to be the fourth coat. Door's looking really nice. It's got its four coats on. So the shine looks nice and even. Take off my groovy glasses. Uh, it still stinks in here a lot though, but I think you know it's warmer today and we got a nice little breeze. It should help finalize the cure.
Well, it's a windy one today. Anyways. Yeah, I'm sure it's just like... I'll go inside the shop and tell you what's going on. What is that crow? Say it again, crow. Yeah. Yeah. Must be some kind of mating. What the heck is that noise? Hey! Get out of here, crow! Did you get out of here? Me too. Get! They're over here pecking on the door, just like they were on the truck. Jerkwads. What are you doing? They're like in love with themselves. Like pecking and like... Jeez, some kind of weird mating behavior. Now they're just pissed off at me because I ruined their little love-making session. Okay. Oh, shut it. It's so windy, I, I'm surprised they're even able to fly around. Anyways, I've been doing just a lot of spring cleaning stuff the last week or so. I've been popping in and out of here. I've got all four coats on. And I was just, just messing with it now. And that's how I'm gonna do the uh, the jam here. So it just just sits in a rabbit, and I put four stainless steel screws in, and I pre-drilled them. So I use these right here. They're inch and five eighths, number seven inch and five eighths with a trim head. I would have gotten a bigger head, but they didn't have it. So, so the plan for today is to basically get all the pieces cut to their exact sizes, and make sure every cut has got its finish on it so that there is no open exposed parts of this wood it's all sealed and I, in the threshold i've got you know most of this stuff the threshold's got four coats on the on both sides but most of the stuff i just did two coats on the back side and then four coats on the front side so i can get everything laid in here. Let me get the doors laid down in here so I can get all the edges and everything easily pretty much and then I'll put one coat and then tomorrow I'll do the next coat and so forth until I got four coats on all the edges. bit each day and eventually it'll be done. That's what I keep telling myself at least. But before I um, 
before I hit all these edges again, you know, these cut edges, if you're wondering what I was even talking about. So, um, but I also put some coat, put a little bit on the door here, on the back of the door. And man, the dust stuck to it like crazy. Like the underside is smooth, but up here it's like rough. So I'm going to give these a sanding. Yeah, same with this one too. Uh, I'm going to give these a sanding, clean them off, and then give them another light coat. And hopefully that'll fix that. And I'm not even going to mess with the other side until they're installed, and then if, if I need to touch up any areas, then I'll do that once they're installed. Hopefully I won't regret that. But I'm going to close the door to hopefully keep the wind from blowing any more dust on there. And I'll do those last. I'll hit all these ends real quick, and then I'll do the doors. And then I'll be done. Final coat in the corners and the ends. Now all the tops and bottoms will have four coats. This guy. He's out hunting rabbits this morning. Didn't even come for breakfast. Did you get one? I'm guessing not since you're eating grass. I'll give you breakfast when I come back. So today, I think is uh, the day that I'm going to try to start installing this door with the, uh, the atrium doors. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. This is where I find out if if the design works or not. The one thing I'm kind of worried about is I don't have much adjustment. Well, I really, I really don't have any adjustment on the doors that I've installed already. Um, the hinges have adjustments so you can adjust the door just a little bit each way and get the reveal just perfect. And these doors, I won't have that at all. I'll only have, I'll only be able to just like shim the hinges if I need to, which I probably will need to. Let's see if the crows are destroying the truck. Not currently. Oh, they're attacking the house. God, these crows are just ridiculous. Look at this. Better run. Bad crow. What am I gonna do about these stupid crows? Peeing and pooping all over the place? Disruptive little bastards, or big bastards. Anyways, I think I was talking about these doors. First step will be cleaning up this mess. There, that's better. And then the next step will be I gotta wrap this. I'll just tape some blue skin on around this frame. This could be a very, very long day. Wish me luck. I'm gonna wait on putting the glass in uh, until I've already installed the doors and then I'll take them back off and put the glass in and hopefully they'll stay the same. That way if I do have to end up like trimming the doors or something like that, it'd be a lot easier without the glass in it. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these around and put the hinges on the doors. Take the three pieces of jam over and I'll screw it together over there and I'll put it in and square it up. So here we go. So these are the stainless hinges. I'm hoping that these are stainless screws that came with it. They, they look like it. 
but it'll be a little tricky getting them on there. Oh, it goes like that. So I'll get these hinges on and screwed in, and then once they're in, then I'll put some tension on it and slide the pin in. So that way it has a return to center. Oh, I hope these work. I'll make it work no matter what. I just hope it hope it works without much effort. I'll put it that way. I had to go back and redraw my holes a little bit bigger because I snapped a screw off. Let's see if I can show you. So I'll do the rest of them and then I might come back and try to drill that out or just leave it or possibly just drill a new hole you know, next to it, put a new screw in. Okay. Now I'll do the other door. All right, so here we go. I've been waiting a while to put these doors in and anxious to get this done and get past this part of it. And you know, I got, I got at least a week's worth of work to finish all this and I still need to order those doors. But uh, I'm excited to get to this. Hopefully this will go smooth and I'll start by uh, making sure or checking to see how plumb these are again and just getting these these sides plumb and parallel that's the name of the game Okay, that took a little bit of fussing, but uh, not too bad. I've got it exactly the same distance from bottom to top and plumb. And the top's nice and level. So, next step is to put in the one by two. That'll go right over these screws. So these guys, I think I had them marked. But yeah. So now they're going to go right in here. And it has enough room for the threshold to slide right under. I'll draw a real light pencil line right on the edge of where this will go. Once I get these one by twos in, 
Then I can bring the doors out and, and really see if this is gonna work or not. Oh, it's looking really good. We'll see. Hopefully we're not too close here in the center where they meet. Otherwise, we're going to be really good if the second door goes as good as the first one. Oh, I'm pretty happy with these doors. I didn't expect them to go in so so easily. The only error I made was uh, underestimating the gap on each each of these gaps. They're actually quite a bit wider than I thought, so that's where they're really nailing each other. But I also didn't really want. that big a gap, but these will take some fine tuning. I mean, that, that's a pretty even reveal there. And you can see it gets a little small at the bottom and a little wider there, so. Forgot about the threshold. So I'm gonna run over and grab it. I gotta grab the roto hammer because I'm gonna put in some concrete anchors. I've never used these before, but they're a special type of concrete anchor. You drill a hole and you set this down in there and then you can drop a bolt in. Like so. So I need to actually, I bought longer bolts than I needed so I need to trim them down. And these will end up being right under the door. So these end up being flush at the top.
I want to do a couple of adjustments to this. Like I think I'm going to shim these bottom ones out. I could mortise out this a little bit. Interesting. So if I cut some slots in here just like I did on the door and make these upper ones a little deeper then that'll help compensate for the way these hinges don't hang perfectly uh, the same, if that makes sense. If I brought this in an eighth, and that one a sixteenth, and that one nothing. See down here at the bottom I'm at like three sixteenths, and at the top I'm at like five sixteenths. So once I did that, then I could see what was left to plane off. I think that'll be a better way to go. Well, I'm taking you along on the process of figuring out what the heck I'm doing here. So when I play with these, it's gonna affect this top gap too. But if you look, I've got about 3 sixteenths there. And over here, it's like a quarter. Uh, so I do have a little play because when I bring this in, it's gonna bring this up just a hair. So we'll see. This is going to be a very tedious process. Okay, so I've taken about an eighth slot out there, a sixteenth here, and nothing there. So I'll put the door back up, and we'll see, see what difference that made. Okay, so um, I'm done fiddling with this. I've had my fiddle patience has been used up for the day, so I'm gonna stop here. But uh, it's sitting perfectly right now. It's got like a perfect even reveal all the way around everywhere. But uh, part of the problem I'm running into is these hinges. This is so there's 12 basically points that get these little pins so there's 12 springs and one of them was giving me a little fit I think it was this one it was just not wanting to spring very much and kind of getting bound up almost 
And then this one totally just stopped working and it just, it will not spring at all. And I, you know, it's like sealed. I can't get in there. I sprayed a bunch of penetrating oil and I didn't seem to make any difference. I mean, they're supposed to be stainless steel, so I don't know. I was a little worried about these hinges. They were the best I could find on Amazon, but that's not saying much. So I'm hoping that I can make these work and that they last. So we'll see. I'll take these doors off. I'll put the glass in them. And while I'm at it, I, I got my hinges yesterday. I'll take the hinges off. And one other thing about the hinges was these hinges didn't come with any instructions, but I looked in at a different brand of hinges and they had instructions. But they recommended not mounting this hinge here, but actually mounting it just below this one and having no hinge in the middle, which is really odd. The other thing they said was one side should have the spring holes up and one side should have them down to help get them more even, I guess. Or I don't, I don't know what the reasoning would be exactly. The other point they mentioned was do not over tension these or do not tension them more than three holes. And on the bottom ones, only do one spring hole. And I was, I definitely tensioned them more than that. You would think, I would think that they're, <laughs> that they, why don't they have instructions that come with it that tell you that? But I probably over tensioned them and that's why a couple of them weren't working so well. And the last thing is I got to pull this threshold up because I never sealed the ends after trimming the ends. So a lot of little odds and ends to wrap up on these doors, and then I can check this off. Uh, when I bought these hinges, um, I bought them because they were stainless steel. I picked these because these seem to be the most heavy duty and really the, as far as stainless steel goes, there, is, there wasn't much choice. If you weren't getting stainless and you're just getting regular steel, they were actually more expensive. And for some reason these were on sale, like they're not selling for some reason or I, I don't know why. but. Uh, I wanted stainless because I don't want them to rust and I don't and we have stainless steel elements around the house already like vents and stuff like that so they'll match that hardware nicely. So since I have these extra ones I thought why not just double these up you know and I, I have enough uh, that way I could just take this one off mortise this one down a little further and be able to have two of them up top. So I'm not going to hang them today, but I'm going to mortise everything out, get everything uh, accessible and laid out nice so that I can just seal all the raw wood. All the mortises, all these holes here, and, and the handles that I had planed down. That way when I go to install it, it's just done. There is no more touching up or anything like that. I'm also going to put the glass in. I'm going to do that today because I got some more silicone.
So to make this easier, I just clamped two boards on the side, made them as flush as I can and level. That way it'll support the, the router as I'm boring this out. So I'm looking pretty nice. Go just like that. Trying to put this on. These screws are the sh crappiest screws ever freaking made. Garbage. The heads just snap off so easily. Just pop. At least I'll just I, I could just keep drilling holes until eventually one sticks. I guess that's all. That's the plan. Okay, so the next step. Now that I survived switching these around and I got these holes pre-drilled, is now these slots are ready to be sealed. I have to go over to the jam and widen these notches the same amount as I did these ones on the top. And the last thing I'll do is put the glass in. Well, when I put this glass in, I'll have this big dingus to fix. Well, I'll probably fill this with putty. So I'll put the trim in and then fill it with putty, let it harden up, and then I'll be ready to put a clear coat over the top of that. And so, yes, it'll be ugly, but at least it won't be a hole. And then I'll also have the glass in so that when I hang the doors next time, that'll be it. But I'd really like to get the doors on so that we don't have any more crow incidents. So I've thrown some silicone all around and made sure that I knew which end was the bottom. And I've got the glass basically resting on the bottom, so that way over time it doesn't sag. And there's about 3 sixteenths of an inch on each side, and probably 3 eighths of an inch gap on top. And so um, no matter how far, if it ever slides sideways, it's never going to come far enough out to fall out or anything. I've got my micro pinner here. This is what I'm going to use to nail in the molding. And I'm hoping that catastrophe doesn't happen and one of these micro pins shoot out the side and break the glass. <laughs> uh, knock on wood, right? But uh, yeah, so that's the plan. I'll just kind of micro pin it in place with just a few. I'm going to silicon first and then, and I've got my pieces marked here so I know which ones go where. And yeah, and once I, I'll do this door and then I'll lay the other door here and get that one done. Well, that was done. I just remembered you put in the short pieces first and then put in the long pieces so that you can snap them in, press them in. So I'm gonna have to force these end ones in, fortunately. Lesson learned. Well, it didn't, it didn't turn out too bad. I just uh, silicone the end I cut and slid right in. And then the other one, uh, I was able to squeeze in, so it, it fit real nice. All this stuff that's oozed out, I'll just let cure and then come back with a razor blade and clean it up. And the micro pinners worked well. There's only a couple of them that I had to, that stuck out a little proud, because this maple's pretty hard. So I was able to tap it back in, so. Pretty good, and then I'll, I'll do the other one and I'll just let them dry in this position so I don't have to worry about the glass moving around at all.
Everything's ready except for just gotta let this dry up a little bit more. It wasn't quite dry, so I'll just let that dry up for a couple hours. And tonight I'll come back and sand that, just like this, sanded that. And then uh, I just gotta like touch up this, that, that, put some on that, touch these guys up, touch up this handle, and then go over to the house and touch up the parts in the jam. And then tomorrow I'll probably hit them all again a second time. And then I'll probably even hit them a third time and then I'll install them. Okay, we'll see if my uh, Man of War is still, still liquid in there. I'll find it. Oh, it feels, feels a little liquid. I don't know. Whoa. Should have checked on that. Gross. I'm going to clean my brush out and get to work. going to um, put the third and final coat probably of the just hitting all the, the little pieces that I had sanded and finished and then it should be dry enough hopefully by tomorrow that I can go ahead and install it so that's the idea hopefully just touch these up and install them tomorrow and, and then the doors will finally be done tomorrow that be, won't that be exciting? I'm going to install the doors once and for all today. Yay! So yeah, so I'm just gonna go grab the parts, bring them over, throw them in, and then probably fidget with it for a couple hours. So yeah, but then hopefully I will claim victory over these doors and uh, no more crows will be coming in.
because it's what? That they don't want you to think. So, so far so good for the most part. They're hanging perfectly level with each other. The two hinges seem to be strong enough to hold it. Uh, one thing about this glass is I ordered, instead of ordering 1 8th, I ordered 3 16 tempered glass. And uh, they're pretty heavy pieces of glass. <laughs> when I had had the three hinges, I gave it pretty good force and it seemed like it was solid, you know, but uh, I could tell the glass makes a big difference. But so I'm glad I added the two hinges because the two hinges seem to be holding it, holding it in place. This is just annoying as hell and I'm just going to, I'm going to plane down at least an eighth off of, I think I'm going to take this door off and take an eighth off of it. And getting these springs to work so that they'll return to center is going to be a little bit of a struggle, I think. But I bought these magnets that I can embed either in the doors or up here and put or and have a strip of metal up here or on the door, vice versa. And I'm hoping if I do it right, I can get them so they, they want to stay centered. So first I'm just going to plane it so that I'm not dealing with the doors and then I'll try to maybe mess with the magnets. One other thing, one other thing I'm going to do is take this hinge and switch it with this one, or the bottom one, maybe the bottom one, because there's something wrong with that one. Here's I've somehow took off those two to switch them and then put them right back in the same position. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll stop whining and I'll switch them back right this time. These hinges definitely are kind of janky, but uh, it'll work for now. I can see definitely eventually probably replacing them with, with the more expensive ones I've found and hope that those ones will actually work a little better. But they, they just don't come in stainless steel, which is... But maybe I'll put these on. Yeah, so I got door stops so that we can easily pop them open.
So I gave them one more little adjustment after I did the feet, and they're actually kind of returning right to center, right where I want them. Um, I don't expect them to stay like that. But, uh, I'll leave them for now. Oh, I'll still probably mess with the magnets. I could spend all day messing with these things, but it's good enough for now. You know, they, the magnets hold it right, pretty much where I want it. But it's doing what I want right now. So it works. For now, it's going to keep the birds out and let me focus on working on the outside without worrying about. Uh, anything coming in here and making mess and stuff. And, uh... But for now, mission is accomplished as far as uh, getting him to stay closed. So, it's like for some reason, this stupid door just wants to stay there no matter what I do. It's just annoying as all hell. And this other one's fine, but. I'm sure if I add enough uh, magnets and stuff, but you know, the more I add, the junkier it looks. And uh, I'm gonna go play with the tractor and rip some stumps out to get my frustration out. I'm gonna eat first, and then I'm gonna rip some stumps out. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Uh, it's a long one. <laughs> it took a long time to do those doors. Um, but I am going to make one more video about the doors and that will be kind of a more of an overview and also include one last thing I want to do to the doors, which is uh, switch out the hinges to... Uh, I found some other style hinges that are much more expensive but are much better. Uh, they basically have a pivot, a, a pivots on the very bottom and the very top of the door rather than the side and, or the back of the door. For the hinges so the whole way the door is transferred down and like into the threshold basically <clears throat> so they make return to center hinges like that they're expensive they're like two or three hundred bucks or around 200 bucks i think um but i think definitely worth it with how much time and effort i put into these doors um i wish i would have seen them first and just gone with them on a whim <laughs> but uh that's that's how life works start with the easiest cheapest method and if it doesn't work work your way up i guess i wasn't trying to start with the cheapest but that's just how it worked out but anyways um that's pretty much the whole series of the doors from kind of the daily vlog where the daily vlogs left it to all the way to where the doors are right now so like I said, in the future, I'll make a video that's basically um, will incorporate the change in the hinges, but then also will be a recap, kind of a loose, fast recap of starting at the beginning, basically, um, where I show a little bit more of the manufacturing of the doors, but just really just like a quick, like 15 minute video going through that. And then I also wanted to touch on the costs involved in those doors, <clears throat> the costs and, and my time. As in one of the prior vlogs I had mentioned reasoning for building these doors and not just getting them sumped out. So I'll retouch, I'll, I'll revisit that topic in that next video. So until then, um, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.